Right, hello everybody, welcome to um, the round of 32 match between Eskizas Chaos and Caprion's Vampires. In the booth with me is Muppet Pac-Man and Purple Chest. Hello! Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, interesting here. Uh, Eskiza won the kick and chose, like, won the kick off and chose to kick, put the uh, vampires on the offense. The vamps have a wizard and a babe as their inducements. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot to the vamp team, but they've they've got they've got everything they need, right? Fourteen players. Yeah. They've only got, they've you've only got good vamps on the bench. The and that's pretty much all you want, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd love to see one more developed vampire, I think. Yes. Yeah. Good evening, little rest. But it's, it's what okay. What can I do for you? Um, Maybe even a leader fall to get the extra wheel. But talking of thin, I mean, this Chaos team feels a little thin, particularly if you consider it's the Overdog. Yeah, it's, it's got quite nice warriors, hasn't it? A claw mighty, yeah. Rock, two, three guards, two of them with claw mighty, but then a decent carrier. But uh, yeah, only one tackle on the team. Uh, versus these three vampires and no kill skills on him is not what you want at all. Although I found it weird how he got the quick snap and then just ran away. Like if you're gonna do that, surely you just tag one foul on all three uh, chaos warriors at the start. Like it looked like he was gonna hit them, but then he decided not to because of the quick snap. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I know what you mean. He he changed plan from dissing from engage to disengage. Uh, I slightly prefer disengage, um, yeah. and it is a swing because, as you said, you do have to leave someone on them to make sure that, in case of a blitz, they're controlled and not moving. But then, I guess the quick snap gives you the option of having no one on them at all. He has left one person on them, but that's the one he hit no goes. Um, I think it's all right, but it is, as you said, a complete reversal of strategy, and it has allowed the chaos a lot of movement. Yeah. There's no, there's no guard. He hasn't got to put a guard in here, has he? Oh, so he's, oh, okay, he's going to hit the thrall and then hit that vampire. Okay, that makes sense. It's like, why hasn't he got in a guard so he can yeah, hit both vampires? Yeah, his way off. Yeah, I would like to. Ow, that's him. lovely. Cheeky still. And the armor break. I think he just carries on forcing down this side, maybe? They don't mind scoring early, do the vampires? Because they no. Do, they do yeah, well they'd rather be on defense. Yeah. The longer they're on offense, the more likely they start eating their own team and suddenly their position falls apart for a turn or two. Yeah. That's another good thing from the quick snap. If the vampire didn't need to move, he could have just quick snap one square and not move. No risk and good lust. Yeah. Yeah. That guy who was in the tackle zone. So to keep the other the other guy out, very nice. But this uh, that hypno gaze was the most important thing this turn. Once that worked, yeah. it was all gonna be fine. Almost certainly. We need a couple geophys of falls, but should be fine. Should be. Should. <laughs> I like getting this tackle here, stopping this two heads guy doing anything. Yes. He could still be rowdy. Yeah, left the front a bit exposed until that final dodge, but now it looks fine. It's like an easy vampire quick score, and then we'll see if they can survive this chaos team. He could surf the, uh, he could surf the sidestep vampire here. Because he could uh, he could blitz this throw, chain his guy there, fill in these two squares. And, yep. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. But you know, if you went for that, Jimmy, you would remove that throw. <laughs> get the uh, that square filled in. That's true. And I guess you do want like you do want to pressure him a bit to make sure that he doesn't stall it. So I guess like the vamps are going to stall it if they can, aren't they? Yes. yes. Every turn they burn is good for them at this point. It's a little early to score. Even though they want to score early, it's just because they want to score safely, isn't it? That's it. And then they know that things can go very badly for them very quickly. So, so they like to get off 
as quickly as they can. <laughs> Well, they're one of those teams that's weirdly much, much better on defense because they can do anything any term. But, I mean, that's also true on their offense. Like I said, a key term with a couple of bloodlusts and suddenly it becomes very, very difficult to keep safe. But it's also almost impossible to keep safe from them. Uh, and obviously it's less ruinous if it goes horribly wrong on your own offense. Oh, shit, we've double won the bloodlust. You can't score. Ah, but nope. he's done there. He's got the serve from his sidestepper. So we've retreated into the cage just to try and uh, keep the ball whilst we eat. Yeah. Ruinous there. The touchdown snatched away by one in 36, but at least it's one that keeps the ball in our hands. Oh, pro saves us. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't even do the serve. Did that dodge first. Oh, brutal. There's a lot of ones that turn. Yeah, this is looking really pretty horrible. Die to fail. So we're going to see a surf here, surely. Yep. You'd have thought so. Well, it's now beautifully set up. Bye bye, Mr. Vampire. He's gone. And one less vamp on the pitch is always a good thing for him. Yeah, certainly from the Chaos point of view, less vamps is the right number of vamps. The KO, so cheaty regen, no help there. Yes, yeah, hitting the throne chance is nice, isn't it? And then he gets to surf uh, this thrall as well afterwards. I guess he's also saving his own pieces doing this thing. I mean, no, it was, it was definitely wrong that he, like, it, hitting this thrall was definitely better, wasn't it? And then chain surfing. Yeah. Yeah. This was just definitely better, but. I don't like not like this guy wasn't down. He could have dodged away, couldn't he? Yeah, he was down. He just didn't. Was he down? Okay. I'm, I'm sure he wasn't, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Both teams down. Oh, oh double oh, scores. Oh, oh, fails. Oh. Another one. Too many ones. Capri well, it's to... not been lucky. No, Capri needs to go to the ducky school of vampire dice rolling. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the point where you take a hammer to the dice, isn't it? You ask for a new set. Yeah, this is the point where you serve this, you, what, you double, triple, quad surf this time? <laughs> Just surf everything. Yeah. I don't like not getting away from this fan. Like, he could have GFI to not get hit by him, couldn't he? Now I guess he's gonna, like, foul him. Oh, he rolls more ones, I guess. Yeah. So who, who, yep, surf this fan, we surf this frog. <laughs> Lovely J5. <-Fi. laughs> Implying that everybody wasn't already imagining that. <laughs> Doesn't fall oh no he's strength for it. I was say, why you, how do you not follow there? But he's he's already just he's just strength for already. Oh, Oh, he quad schools! I don't even, I don't even think I would reroll that. Honestly, I've got one reroll left. Yeah, I don't think you should reroll either. He's still got the uh, Caprian still has the wizard. He can still stop me. Yeah, An enormous amounts happen considering we are what in turn five. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? We plays are great, aren't we? How fast <laughs> it goes. He didn't go for the ball though with the uh, down bumper. Mm. Could he reach? Um. He could reach, but it would have been, you know, it would have been lots of rolls. And I guess this way, at least he's got something back, right, in case. Yeah. Because, like, he can't score next turn. So. I definitely like it since the uh, rerolls have gone for the chaos. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, get get people back and they can None of these it. beasts have block, so any hit is uh, risky. Yeah, I think he should have extricated him a few turns ago, right? Because th this guy's got bludge. 
He's Too Edge 4, essentially. This is the guy you want to deal on. Um, I mean, it's, it's odd, isn't it? The vampires actually look more aggressive and offensive now that they haven't got the ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and less players. Because <laughs> everyone's been sick. Yeah, I mean, it cost them a lot of positioning to do that, though, didn't it? Like, he had all these players just left hanging around, scratching their ass, but then he did get rid of loads of players. He's got plenty of time, so he can just, by, just come um, back here, can't he? Back into the cave. just started half by throwing the ball to the chaos. <laughs> yeah. He said, he'd let's go. More, he'd have had more players for this phase. Yeah. Nick the dodge. dodge. Just goes the naked dodge. Doesn't come back into the cage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, doesn't God. feel like the right square to me. <laughs> doesn't feel like the right... It doesn't feel like the right... 13 Anything. squares by <laughs> 15 squares to me. <laughs> no. oh, look, we got the ball back. All good. Everything's good. Nothing happened. Those last five turns never happened. Yeah, that did not like I think that. this is going to be a perfect eight turn stall. Yeah. Yeah. Although he has no vampires to catch the ball if he has to, like, hand off one. So. Ah, vampires, vampires. <laughs> He's hitting a throw. <laughs> to be fair, these are the score fets, aren't they? All the throws. <laughs> Does he know that the ball's here? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You've got no tackle, Jim. He's got no rear. He's got a tackle, but he could have moved the tackle back centre, right? He hasn't done anything with him. He's he did, he hit, the, he hit the fall last turn. Oh, he's keeping him down there! Yeah, no, the what I mean thing. is this turn, this turn he doesn't. Yeah, he turn. should have moved him back here first, he's got no re-rolls, you've got to get him back. Relevant for next turn, but instead he just fucking put him even further away. Oh, God. Well, the vampire just um, three three twos this, doesn't it? And heads up the left flank. Yeah. Ah, maybe not, maybe he gets gears and stuff and goes somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, the other vampire can come help. Okay, yeah, there's something to do. There we go. You can just Desmond this. Blitz? Yeah, even Blitz. Yeah. Cheeky power, remove the ball carrier. Why not? Yeah, that's better, obviously. Get you the same step for free. Yeah, we want we want one of these fours up just in case we uh, won the bloodlust again. And oh look, holy shit, this guy can't even reach. What a surprise. Because he put him fucking further away. <laughs> so now sure, surely he's going to try and hit the ball this time. I'm going to be you, so You sad. would have thought, but I'm not prepared to put all my money on it. <laughs> I'm going to be so sad if he uh, bubbles this touchdown again, like the second time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it would be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's Look, got his Chaos players put his threat in, as uh, that's important. Mm. Yep, tackle vessel. Yeah, let's have to hit this thrall instead of getting relevant. Well, it's hit a thrall, that's relevant in itself. Yeah, if you read Reddit, that's how you beat vampires. Mm. Aha, this, this vampire will never get out now. <laughs> Go. Get the <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this guy should have moved before that block, surely. That's GFI, though. Is it? But, yeah, yeah maybe he could have yeah, just gone the space down in front of the vampire. Mm -hmm. yeah, the other vamp just comes and saves the day anyway. Yeah. Oh. Opens the hole. Two, now there is two, a, a two, two, big two. wide hole to shove that vampire up. <laughs> yeah, opens oh. the club acre. <laughs> it's fine, we kept a reroll for this. We knew this was going to happen. Always good. And he smashes it in. There we are. Perfect eight turn storm. <laughs> Didn't One see deal. anything going with that. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was an eventful first half, wasn't it? Holy moly. It was always exciting, though. They, they knew people were watching. They were watching. It was three drives for the price of one. <laughs> and you can't claim that isn't good value. Yeah. 
and the Vamps have got their ways to 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 win the game. So yeah, I mean, actually worked out quite well, right? I guess didn't it? Getting the stall rather than scoring quickly yeah, this, and then this getting is scored on. Vampire off. win all day now. We've seen the utter ineptitude of these girls trying to drive against vampires. <laughs> so that's. I don't believe that's going to change enough. <laughs> I mean, maybe Exca just hasn't played with vampires enough. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Um, I think you might be right. Yes, if you're a fan of Devo, I think you'd say there there was three phases. The drive forwards up the right, uh, feigning a move further up the right, looking to pull back into the centre. Then the lose the ball and oh my god, scrabble back to try and stop the chaos who've got my ball phase. <laughs> and then the uh, the classical move, uh, obviously, up the left. Leading to the score. I think the chaos was too focused on scoring instead of stopping it. They should have just been focused on stopping the score. I mean, they should have they should have been focused on counter scoring once they got it. He just ran up like a lunatic, didn't he? He, sh he should have realised yeah. he had plenty of turns left. Protect the ball. I mean, and, there are times where running away from vampires is the right option because they're not super fast. Uh, but you need a bit of a head start on them. Yeah. And you need maybe some friends to come with you. And he sort of ignored both of those two quite key factors. Yeah. We're getting a foul in on this fall, are we? However, if you don't run away, then of course they just hypno cheat everyone around you and take the ball away. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a bit of a dilemma. It is, it is absolutely done. I mean, it, it's, but you know, at that point, when they had caught up to him and he had a cage yeah. there, he probably yeah. should have gone inside the cage and made it a bit harder for them. That at least would have made them roll more dice, I feel, yes. Yeah. And he only had two vamps to hit no cheap, like he was Cheeky doing little vanity there. Let's see how the second half shapes up. Mm. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, oh all the, the vampires are back. back. Huge rolls. He has a babe, to be fair. Yep. A seismic ground shaking shift in the equity. <laughs> that babe, look at that babe Shortly saving everyone. Really like I am. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see how this works out for the vamps now, isn't it? They can get crazy attrition by just rolling good dice because they've got an old palm and they've only got one tackle. So they could just roll really good dice, but obviously against the wizard and vamps, it's uh, it's very tricky, isn't it? Like it's against it's tricky against vamps even when they don't have a wizard. When they do have a wizard, how on earth yeah. do you keep your ball safe? You don't. Your ball is getting tampered with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deflated, maybe even. Oh, is he picking up way on the way to stay far enough away to try some sort of uh, dropping the ball back, staying away from enough vampires. Then when they come for you, moving forwards into enough of a double screened area that they can't get to the ball. But it's it, this is all lovely in theory. It's really hard to actually do. Yeah. I think Mr. Strength Force is picking up the ball as a, a bolt bitch. <laughs> Good question, Isaac. I have no idea. Oh my god, oh, what a that's kick. A ruinous kick, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Never mind. Double G if I am. has changed. He's got a double G if I with this guy and got everybody around. Vessel a pickle? No, no, you've got, you've got it, you've got it, you've got to do it. I mean, you've got a double G if I with your carrier. Yeah. One to pick up, one to get off the edge. He does not have a get, killer goat, nor the Lapia. Maybe it died there. Yeah, you can get one or two more goats over there before you do it. I don't like really that. Uh, area, but... Oh, he can, he can still blitz. He can still blitz and get him free. Not blitzing there is 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 unforgivable because he could have had another player over to help, yeah. couldn't he? And no yeah. one's blitzing this turn. Yeah, so that last hit should have been the blitz. If you weren't playing to blitz with the final beastman, which you shouldn't have been, fails the ghost for it. He's got an extra reroll, it'll be fine. He goes the bonus reroll. Oh, and no, wow. it. Well, I think this is where it oh. depends whether the ball goes quite likely to be game. Okay. Well that's the vampires can get that easy. Well, they get at least two goes this. on hypno cheating the beastman in front of it, still with a piece to then recover afterwards. I think this, yeah, it doesn't even really need the wizard. That's the contempt he has for the difficulty of this situation. 
He could even blitz it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, doing, no, he's doing it the simple way. Boom. This Come is on. not the way of the vampire, is it? What is this? This is the way of the I've been gifted a piece. That's the wrong square. That makes the fetch route harder. Yep. Unless he's hitting him cheating. Yeah, yeah, you can just... Yeah, now it's fine. Oh, now it's fine. <laughs> he fixed it. It's all good. Yeah. I don't know what it was like in real time, but it looks like it could have, like... Oh, no, I've messed up a bit here. I'll just fix it. I mean, it's just a two plus dodge with dodge, wasn't it? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't horrific. Yeah, but I'm back again, presumably. He could have come up here and chief I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. We also Ooh. Ooh, another Ooh. snake. <laughs> sexy, sexy snake all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> what even so is this fun. game? Holy wow. shit. Wow. Everything is fine, PC. Don't worry about it. Everything is awesome. It's bonkers, isn't it? Oh well, the uh, Chaos have skillfully solved their problem there by marginalizing most of the vampires over the wrong side of the field. Uh -huh. and having he has the ball, moved everyone uh, away. Ball <laughs> yeah. And he gets to surf this fan. And no, surf it's got sand set. Has it? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that one doesn't. It was the other no, one that said that you moved away. Him. You oh. can surf him. Surf the vampire. Yep, He's certainly him. trying, uh, and he has done so. <laughs> What's that? One like? less vampire. Six surfs we've seen this game, and with no frenzy pieces. Who needs frenzy? <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? I say, there's a lovely effective cage there, but the ball is eight squares away. Oh, what? Is where that... there isn't a cage. <laughs> yeah. The T cage there, variation of the I cage. Classically, you'd have the ball in the center of it. Here we see it ballless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the vamps, the vamps are miles away, wasn't they? This is fine, this kind of formation, just to keep the hits on the throws if you stand up. Yeah. You can always try to reconnect next turn. With the, At this point, the you, all the throw's job to do is to keep it messy. Yeah. I didn't like the pickup on the on the rackle, though, the right? Because I want to be able to rackle vamps. So I've yeah. definitely gone for the pickup on a, on a warrior. All the vampires have to do, yeah, put the thralls in the way so that it pulls slowly any part of the Chaos team apart and then look for an opportunity to use two vamps max to hypnogaze someone and get in and take two die on this ball carrier. And uh, once again, you've got the Chaos scrambling. They're going to run out of turns before they get control of this situation unless they bang a couple of thralls out pretty imminently. Well, not yet. Stun might be good enough. Maybe yeah, it certainly all helps. No, uh, you need to start to removing one or two from the field so that you can get the position of control. And I think he really had to like get the guys back together, didn't he? That was the thing. Yeah. I think he had to not pick up on the Rackle, then he could have blitzed this vampire with Rackle, and then he could have, you know, stabilised him in the middle. I'd have liked I feel like this seen. Rackler is way more important than he's realising. So he's made some space here. I mean, he's got away from the vampire's imminent threat this turn. Yeah. Right yeah, over is, on the side is. there. And he's stealing some space up the centre, which he may be able to defend next turn. This is quite nice, but again, he's, yeah, he's got a dodge there because he's split in half, isn't he? So, yeah. important dodge to make. Yeah. But the ending shape's very good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's a slightly more aggressive play. I mean, I, I, like you, Jim, I think I'd have stabilised in the centre, but this slightly more aggressive, slightly higher risk play has really paid off in terms of the space. And you know how much I love a bit of space. Yeah. If you leave space for PC, he'll take it. I will. Not a fan of Norse myself, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, he's going for the ball because he, he is in range. There was that route through the middle, and yep. Yeah, he came up the back. Straight up power onto the sideline. That's the injury as well. That's huge. Especially on the tackler. His only tackle has gone out. And there is that ball. <laughs> what a crazy match. <laughs> this is just insane. Steve, don't run away and hide and do vanity passes, Jim. This is the joy that Blood Bowl can bring you. <laughs> oh! oh! 
some removals back after losing a precious, precious beast. After losing whole chancing out of winning the game. <laughs> I don't know if he kills the vampire on this hit somehow. On the one in eight. Then it could have been all alright. Now it really. Why are you running away from the ball? Go closer to the ball, please. That that wasn't right. This goat that should be evading the goat. Is he in double GFO without a reroll? No. Yeah, so the other kills, the warrior should have been there next to the ball. Putting at least two tackle zones on it, and the beast could have been covering the piece, the square that the Chaos Warrior is. Yep. We've got a one dice here. So that was just the wrong way around. You can just the bolt. Yeah, the bolt, and then the vampire just steals it and runs the hell away. And says, Can you get me over here? Yeah, and he's got the other oh. two vamp vampires to do something as well. Although no fall, so uh, any bloodlust is pretty real brutal. Oh, 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 but he oh, puts he the reroll and the bloodlust. Makes the, uh, the dodge and pick up without it, but now surely can't risk the. Does he um... go for the pass? Yeah, I'd have thought the little pass there made it safer. Yeah, I like the pass because he's got Chico, troll for the throw. Plan, hasn't plan. He? He's got yeah. the troll for the throw, and then failing the catch wouldn't have mattered that much. But it did mean that he uh, couldn't take this blitz and get these support pieces up, because now the other vampire will come surely. No, he does that. No. Oh, you I didn't to, like you that. You have to do the vampires, you? but then you can't yeah, go I thought that's why we. I thought that's why we got the floor up in case he blew us, so we could dodge him out. Yeah, good point. So yes, now our oh, vampire ball carrier very much at risk. He's got a roll of power. We're hitting him without it. tackle though. Wasted we? the power, we're not getting it now. No, there's no tackle. There was one tackle on the team and he's gone. Yeah. He just got injured last time. Get the pow. Get the big pow. Sidestep was good. Yep, yeah, and it, he Ooh, gets the pretty three decent scatter. Scatter. He's got short hands and two heads. We're all good. <laughs> He can't get out of range of the vampires, Pac-Man. <laughs> vampires are coming for him. Well, he does the one Mostly. before the dodge. And he they come Why are we rolling this? Mostly. Because, <laughs> because he did that block pointlessly before this dodge. He had to do this dodge, didn't he? He had to do this dodge. He's not doing the dodge. He just re-rolled it for no reason. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, bye-bye, ball. Nope. No. 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 <laughs> this is so What a crazy fucking game. Oh, it's been awesome. This is Blood Bowl at its very finest. <laughs> this uh, post is ruining the Blood Bowl. Just stands up and hypno cheats it instead. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't give a damn about us. He knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we're here entertaining his viewers. We're here entertaining him. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, it makes the dodge. Is he gonna like do a pass to this or a handoff to this warrior? You know, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. I don't like going too close to the sideline because. Can... Yeah, I don't think this keeps it safe. Oh, not from a dub skull! Oh, it's a one point. in nine brutal dice! This push trump beast has done the same thing every time. Surely you need to put an option up the field somehow. Surely you shouldn't have won this go. World. Oh god, that was horrible, wasn't it? This go. Nope, never mind. That goes hitting. And he's following away from me. Touchdown. No, now that we've knocked it out this time, next turn to get someone in. He can dodge. He dodges at the end of the turn. This guy dodges. No, he doesn't. No! I don't know what's going on. Holds that completely irrelevant piece in place. <laughs> Ooh. Oh look, we have a wrestle tackle guy at the back just in case something crazy happens. It's a good job with chaos did that, isn't it? <laughs> These chaos not scoring, are they? It's not really. No, gonna they're gonna lose the ball. Here come here, the vamps. Maybe. Yeah. No. Lose it again. No. Oh, oh no! Oh my goodness me! It's it draw just... every. Oh, you can't take your breath, can you? Oof. Oh my god! I wasn't even pro. It was just a straight up reroll. Now the fall tries to dodge, which a beastman should have done, but he fails. Yeah, so now he now he does get this threat, except <laughs> he's just going to get smashed down because he's based a vamp. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Sorry, Elf Bear, the notification didn't come up. Is it because it was a tiny raid? Here goes the ball. It's on five man raid. Oh, sorry, yeah, I only get the alerts for ten man. Why raid. have we stopped eight short? Now we only just need a single push to get us out of range. That is pretty bad, yep. Please. Because That's we've got no reloads, because we wasted reloads on shitty one day. We we've still got to do, do, got to do them at some point. You need to do at least one of them this turn. Yep, absolutely. Right. Thanks just for the can't, massive raid. Oh, no, it's not okay. <laughs> It's, no, it's definitely not okay. But I expect anything at this point. What are we doing there? That's How's that helping? <laughs> it's the vampire you got to worry about, mate. See that great big vampire? That <laughs> one that can just do a single dodge. Hey, okay. he's doing something. All right. it's, yeah, it's just coming around the front. No. The, uh, he's going to hit the yeah. tackle wrestle. He's gonna gaze him. He needs a single push. He's gonna gaze. He's gonna gaze him. He's gonna gaze somebody. Pro as well. As he's going for the one D. Yeah, just needs to push Rackle. Gets him. Now, obviously, the chaos have scoring. Peter's it still in. But it is hypno gazed, so it has to move first before yeah. getting the ball. Which the. Uh, the warrior behind it is also in range. No, he isn't. No, no he isn't. He's one out. He's got two, two guys in range. The famous Blackburn footballer. Yeah. Oh, push. Yeah, I guess we're scattering. Risky business. We can hit it again, it's fine. Yeah, risky, but yeah, it's risky in that the warrior could have caught it. Oh, I guess the rest really, really not. Okay. He's in, he's in the end zone. We're in the end zone. We just need to get the ball there. We've got the pick up. Oh boy. We should have Short took a strong arm on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he failed the pass. Oh, brutal end to the game. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a, a one pair win. Holy sh what a crazy game that was. Holy it was moly. intense and insane at every step. Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really was. That's probably the game of the round, that is. We should see. Well, it's like round. when you know you watch Man City against Chelsea or something, and you think, "Yeah, this is all fine. Someone scores one beautiful, elegant goal." And then you watch, say, Brighton versus Sheffield, and it's just madness for ninety minutes. That's a little what that felt like here. I'm uh, not meaning to impinge either coach, of course, but just uh, the blood bowl because of the races. Very difficult for either to keep it safe from t'other. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was it was it was absolutely wild. So congratulations, Caprion. Commiserations. Uh, but, but I can't remember his name. Chaos guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Muppet Pac-Man and Purple Chest. No problem. Pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>